Meanwhile, you will be seeing more officers out this month because Fresno police are beefing up patrols to enforce a new operation. They're looking for bicyclists, pedestrians and drivers who are not following traffic laws. The goal, of course, is to save lives. The crackdown comes as bicycle and pedestrian deaths in California are rising at an alarming rate. A common violation that officers are seeing is that pedestrians cross the street against the light, a ticket that will cost you upwards of $150. And and it's perfect timing, really, because May is National Bike Month, and our local bicycle community is raising awareness to bike safety with an upcoming ride of silence. The event is going to honor all those men and women who have lost their lives or been injured in bike accidents. So here to tell us more, we have Melissa Rose. She's a Ride of Silence event coordinator. We also have Dennis Ball. He's the Fresno Cycling Club president. And we have Denny Boyles. He's a bicycle safety advocate who is here to share his personal story. A big Welcome to you all. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful. Well, let's first start with the event so that everyone can mark their calendar. So the Ride for Silence is going to be when, Dennis? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. When and where? It's going to be at, well, start arriving at 630 at Stevens Bicycle Shop at Willow and Knees. And the event gets kicked off about 7 o'clock. That's wonderful. And I know as event coordinator, Melissa, what do you want folks to know? What's kind of the mood and the vibe of the event? It really is something to remember those who have been killed on a bike um, which is why we'll have this bike there tomorrow mm. and also to honor and um, recognize those who have been injured on yeah. a bike as well has this bike this was someone's bike yes it was it was your brother it was my brother-in-law patrick tonight house's bike yes he yeah. was uh, hit and killed in april of 2016 by a impaired driver uh. Um, as he was out exercising, which uh, is something that all of us who are cyclists, we, we know too many people that that's happened to. Uh, every accident usually is started with the driver making a decision, whether it was to speed or mm -hmm. in this case to use drugs or to leave the scene of an accident after the accident. Um, there are things that are easily changed by the drivers. Yeah, so this is your brother-in-law's bike. Mm -hmm. What, I mean, this is so powerful. Do you share this story and in hopes that people kind of think twice? It's actually, um, it took a while for the bike to be released from police property following the investigation and then once it was we contacted Dennis and asked him if we could donate it to the Ride wow. of Silence. Just you know our thought was leave it in the state that it's in. Mm -hmm. uh, just it's a very vivid reminder for drivers that they need to pay attention that cyclists have a right on the yes. roads. Yes, that is very impactful. And speaking of rights, Dennis, what are cycling rights so that all these, all drivers who aren't as familiar can well, know? Well, that was one of the things we wanted to highlight. Uh, one of the main issues is the um, three-foot law that motorists are uh, obligated to pass any bicyclists on the roadway by at least a minimum of three feet. Mm. And so that, that's one of the biggest things. And although it's a minimal amount of distance, yeah. but at least it's a start, we would prefer to have five or 10 feet. Right. But, but realistically, a three foot uh, buffer is safe for, you know, as long as, but what we find is a lot of motorists tend to uh, speed mm -hmm. over the speed limit. And so it does make it a little bit unnerving when you're getting passed by a car that should mm. be going 40 miles an hour mm -hmm. and you're doing 50 or 60. Yeah. So, and they, people complain about bicyclists violating all the laws, and they just released a study that showed that, that bicyclists violate a m small minority of the violations as opposed to cars. So, no kidding. that was pretty yes. eye opening. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. And, and speaking of eye opening, Melissa, you had your own experience of an accident. Can you explain? I did. It was a couple years ago, and I was riding with my father up Aubrey Road, and um, I joined up with some friends and then we kept going on that road and there was sands like you wouldn't believe just covering the whole bike lane mm. and right as I was trying to pass it I hit some of the sand and went down and then a car came and hit me oh. and I broke my arm I had oh. I've had two surgeries I'm pending a third one and um, it it's been tough it's but, tough yeah. yeah, so what's your message to folks? Why should they, A, come out to the ride for silence, and then what do you want them to know? I just really want people to know that we, everybody here, you know, is part of our community. Whether you're a driver, you're a cyclist, you're a pedestrian, however you are, you know, exercising and getting around, mm -hmm. whether it's for work or for uh, recreation, we're all here together. And to just look out and be safe. Yes. Make safe decisions. Oh, 
It's a wonderful message, and unfortunately, we're out of time, but we want everyone to go to the Ride of Silence Wednesday, May 15th. If you're riding, get there around 630, and then you guys will take off at 7, and that's at Stevens Bicycle Parking Lot in Clovis. Well, thank you all for sharing your stories, for being so vulnerable, and it's just an awesome reminder for everybody to share the road and be respectful and that we all matter. So, yes, correct. thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank you so thank much. You. Thanks. All right.